Thanks, mate. Cheers. Good afternoon and welcome to round 13 of the BLK Queensland Premier Grade Rugby Competition here at Crosby Road. Today's match will be the fifth that we have brought you this week and it's a good one. We are here at Crosby Road with Brothers hosting Jeeps at the normal 320 stop because let's face it, no one wants to miss the test tonight at Suncorp. My name is Martin Lippiot and joining me to assist in commentary this afternoon is one of the Galloper regulars. He is out on injury at the moment but has come along to help us with the live broadcast this afternoon. From GPS, Liam Ferguson. Liam, welcome. Thanks, Marty. Thanks for having me. Good afternoon for it. Well, that's it, mate. A very good curtain raiser, I believe, for the rugby that we're going to get to see a few suburbs over later tonight. We have another great top of the table clash with the Brotherhood against the Gallopers. Brothers currently sit in second, being 7-4 and four this season. After a narrow defeat to Sunnybank on Tuesday night at home, they will be looking to get back on track with finals looming in the distance. The Gallopers are starting to gather some dangerous momentum after downing Sunnybank and Souths in the last two weeks. They sit just five points outside the all-important top four and will be looking for an opportunity to get in. So regardless of where you are, this afternoon's match will act as the perfect program as a curtain raiser for the big test between Australia and England at Suncorp. All right, let's have a look at the team lists for this afternoon. Uh, for the Brotherhood, at number one is Francois Postal. Number two, Matt Murphy. Number three, Sam Talakai. Number four, Richard Skelton. At number five, Terran Walls. Number six, Criff Tupu. Number seven, Charles Freeney. Number eight, Luke Bocham. Number nine, Sam Grasso. Number 10, Patrick James. Number 11, Mitch Felsman. At number 12 is Nathaniel Gendel. At number 13 is good. Ila Bailey. At number 14, Will Shepley. And at number 15, fullback is right. Pierce Fitzgerald. And we go across to the Gallopers. At number one, we have Nick Sykes. Number two, Feliti Kaitu. Yeah, fellas, number three, Freddie Burke. At number four, Dan Gorman. <laughs> number five, Radiki Samo. At number six, Matt Baker. Number seven, Waiter Setu. At number eight, Michael Richards. Number nine, Nigel Gania. Number ten, Somi Polu. And we're going to skip that one and we're going to get straight to it because the Gallopers have turned over their own kickoff here and they are making some good headway as they come down into the brothers' attack. Just outside the 22 now, Genia. Genia starts working the ball out wide. He's got some numbers on the far side near the hill, which is absolutely covered with brethren supporters today. So is the entire field. And here they go now. Kaitu supporting Genia. He's got some options. He's going to pass it there to Burke. Burke will be met by a wall of brothers defenders. Genia doing well here. Slow the pace down. He looks out the back, gives the ball to Pulu, who puts the kick cross field. Ball's a bit of a fumble there, Outside. but we're going to come back. Number six, offside, number six. So as Good we work. see there, offside. it's going to be an offside against a number six, Griff Tupo. And this is going to be a good opportunity here for uh, the Gallopers, Liam. So uh, we saw on the obviously on Wednesday night out of Ballymore, very strong in their driving more game. And it's no surprise that Guinea is going for the lineup. So do you think that's going to be the on the cards this time? Look, it's always good to have a strong driving mall in your in your armour. So I'm sure the boys are going to look to stamp their authority on on the opposition forward pack, like all teams would want to do early in the game. Well, just one thing I've noticed about a lot of the teams this season: uh, some of the best battles we've have seen look, guys, have move, been in the forwards and uh, Jeeps against Souths. Uh, I move. think. Some Keep of the going. best Thank scrumming you. I've seen in the last uh, 13 oh, rounds. And um, I'm really hoping that, you know, brothers, they're known for being a technical side. They'll, um, they'll also, you know, give Jeeps a bit of a test in that yeah, department. Look, they got a strong front row. Oh, it's Samo now. Sorry to cut you off there, Liam. And Samo's done really well. He snatched it out. Bit of a loose ball in the scrum there by Jeeps. They're going to have to work hard to get the ball back here because brothers are putting up quite a fierce defensive and here you go, Genia's going to call them around now. He gives it to the big man, at number five, Radiki. Dan Gorman, I beg your pardon. And there's Kaitu now. Kaitu getting very close to the line here. Jeeps, they're going to try and push over. They're getting very close. Genia, he's going to slow it down. He's going to give it to Pulu. Oh, but the ball's been dropped. The brethren have now regathered the ball. The, all that great pressure put on by Jeeps there. Being led off just a little bit, and the ball's going to go out. But quick restart there for Jeeps as they come back into the attack. 
Yeah. Ball's out the back now. Genny has got it. He's looking for his option. He finds a, a stationary Samo sitting in the middle of the centres. Charges his way up. Genny now finds Pulu. Bit of a fend there from Hunt. They take their time getting him down. Genia goes to the wing, finds the fullback Winkley. Tackler! Dan Early not on the paddock this afternoon for the Gallopers. No. Genia lining his options up. He finds the big prop, Sykes. The Gallopers slowly etching their way towards the 22 for Brothers. And Samo will go himself. And here goes Kaitu. It was the far side of the field there. Good little hit up there from the number 13, James Herbert. Offside. Chiefs will be pretty pleased there with their ball control. Um, but equally good defence from brothers there early on. Oh, yeah, totally agree, though. Um, sure. But one thing we, we talk about this every single week is those little one percenters there. And, uh, you know, we're only four minutes into the game. And uh, the offside by the brothers player there, you know, you know I'm going to go out and limb. I'll say Nigel saw it and said, here's an easy, here's an easy penalty and here's an easy three points. And, uh, and we see this coming before us. And it'll be Badim Saga there going for the all-important three points. So, Liam, tell me about some of the things. Brothers, uh, brothers. Obviously, the Gallopers at the moment. It's been a bit of an up-and-down season, five and five. Ten, but you are sitting in that fifth position Thank for you. the Premier Grade guys. How's the season been going, you know, from the Jeep's point of view so far? <laughs> Look, it's uh, it, it pro probably some disappointing games uh, at the start of the start of the season, along with some cracking wins. So the the team's just really been looking to get some consistency on board. Um, and you know, last uh, during the week, the win over the South was the first back-to-back -back win we've had all year. So we really want to keep that momentum going because you know we've we've left ourselves with work to do in the back end of the season to get into that top four. Well, that's it. We see an unsuccessful penalty attempt there by number eleven. Rika Buddy Basaga. Now, brothers. Drop out there. Great strike of the ball. Goes over the 50 metre line. Now, Jeeps are going to have to try and link up and get themselves out. Genia goes for the infield kick. Fleuro Yellow Gear Pulu in charge, and he'll make the contact. Great work there from the Gallopers, driving it back. Well and truly to the brothers' 22 metre line. And they've done some fantastic counter-rucking there. And the ball looks for And it's going to be Radiki Samo jumping in at the role of halfback. Oh, but he'll go himself. Quite the option there. Now with Genia back out, here they go. Gorman takes the hit. Great rucking there from the Gallopers. And the ball's out wide. It's in Kurandrani now. Very strong runner of the ball, Kurandrani. Pulu. Finds Kaitu. Kaitu will have a dig himself. Genia. Great work there. Gets the ball out quick. Pulu sends it long, but Felsman gets his hands on it. But Jeeps managed to hold on. It's going to be advantage to the Gallopers. Knock on from Felsman. Off a tackler. Tackler off it. Advantage Genia slow. taking his time. They've got the advantage. Pulu from long. They go for the infield drop kick. Tackler release. Tackle or release. But we'll come back Clear there. Release. And it's um, actually a penalty against the brother in there for uh, not releasing the tackler. Now, this is actually kind of interesting, uh, Liam. Uh, I know brothers are sitting in at second. But uh, Jeeps, like we've talked about, they've definitely picked up a bit of momentum in the last two weeks. And um, I don't know if, you know, in the opening six minutes, I think that's the third. We've had two offsides and not releasing the tackler. Uh, looks like brothers just aren't quite Line. getting on board with uh, what they need to be doing here and they're giving Jeeves a lot of great opportunities Line, you know to maybe get first blood look yeah and they'll just be looking to weather the storm here in the first 10 minutes when you when you're on the back foot in the first 10 that's what you look to do and here we know. go getting up finds Pulu great ball Samo in the centers getting out digging for the ball there finds Gorman Gorman offloads it to Setu Setu does well, gets valuable meters. Pulu flicks the ball wide. It's a loose ball, but it's gathered up well. The Gallopers still in control of the ball here. Pulu hits the wide ball to find Sedu, who flicks it the inside to Herbert. 
And the ball still in play. Fine. But we're going to call out there and it's going to be a brother's ball. So this is um, some great work here from Jeeps. They're really making the most of uh, brother's shortcomings. Um, but I have to say, that game on, on Wednesday night at Ballymore, I beg your pardon, not Saturday, um, I feel the Jeeps maybe had watched what UQ did to South in previous weeks and saw that, you know, a South team that's taken by surprise is not the same South team, you know, you'd regularly expect. And I think they just did such a good job in um, keeping foot-to-throat mentality with South on Wednesday night, and that was one of the big factors for them uh, getting the win. Now... I would like to see them come out and employ the same kind of football here because I think this is a very capable Jeep side. They've proved it, you know, with two good wins over Sunnybank and Brothers, teams that are both above them in the top four. Yeah, look, that's exactly right. they just got to believe in their ability to keep working for the 80. It's something we haven't done consistently throughout the year, so the message really has been consistency. That's it, and Pulu now finds Sykes charging. Ball's been won. Play Double on. players unhappy. But the ball's been counter rucked very well now. Here we go. Brothers, first good touch of the game here. And Kurindrani goes for the tackle. But it's going to be a very dirty Will Shepley on the wing pulling away there. And here we go. Postal. Postal going against Sedu and Sykes. Brothers now, they're on the attack. Closing in. Passing the 50 metre line. That release. And that one again there, Liam, uh, against Brothers. That's, so that makes two and two. They've had two offsides and they had two penalties against them for not releasing. One not releasing the tackler and one not releasing the ball when under pressure. So if anything, what I'm taking away from this is uh, Jeeps at the moment are... Uh, Reacting very fast, pardon the boom on the roof from the ball. Uh, acting really fast right. around the breakdowns. Okay. They're responding well. It looks like they've done a lot of like set piece training there because so far that's where they're getting so all set. their penalties from. And I think they're really putting brothers under the pump. Yeah, look, you know, we've been on the uh, receiving end of those penalties before as well. So look, it's still nil all. So Jeeps definitely have had the upper hand here, but they got nothing to sh show for it at the moment. So they want to consolidate here. Well, that's it. Only ten minutes down. They do have four penalties. Not a let's remove the pressure Hi, option from Brothers. This is like, oh, this is the only thing we can kind of do right now. And Gen Jeeps are retaining the ball. And like we see now, so they keep their attacker. up. Yeah, I'd just like to see him keep the ball for a bit longer. Oh, I totally agree with you, Liam. And Kurandrani, he's just one of the hungriest green. tacklers I've seen out there. And we've got advantage going towards the Brethren. A little kick there from the prop to Larkai. But we're going to bring it back. Six green, roll away. It's a penalty against number six, Matt Baker, not roll rolling away. away in the breakdown. So, you know, this is actually, I think, the first time we're going to see this in the last uh, 12, 13 minutes, Liam, that brothers are actually going to have an opportunity here at some good field position because we have solely he been out and they squandered the penalty opportunity there. Wait, so, wait, um, I'm not too sure what's going on. Now the ball is running away. They're back inside the 22 option. Big link-up pass. Wait for it, brothers. Still. Bit of Fawzi backs going on here. Here comes Buddy Masaga. He puts up his own. Bit of a loose pass. but Advantage, eight. Grasso does well to hold it. Number eight in the 10, retire. Oh. Oh, and that's will be a penalty against number 10. He's offside, and that'll be a yellow card. Yeah, just come. Come, guys. Come. Hang on, come here. Yellow card there James. going against... He's in front of the kicker with his... Rika Batty Basaga. He then in impacted by making a tackle. <laughs> so that's a real shame there, Liam. Looks like Jeeps had a bit of a lapse in concentration. A couple of little silly moves. And we're going to have a look at the replay here. Yeah, sweet, thanks. We didn't quite get it, but uh, Batty Basaga there trying to uh, stall, intentionally stall the play down and uh, 
Look, you can't give brothers, a team like brothers, an opportunity to go 15 against 14 against you. They're too good a side to allow them those opportunities, so that's pretty disappointing for GPS. Well, that's it. You know, I think the silver lining is, though, uh, GPS didn't lose a forward because I think uh, one of the big competitions between these two teams will be in the forward packs. And, uh, you know, having you on less forward means, you know, that limits your ability to do certain lineouts and obviously your weight and power yeah. in the scrums. And here we go now. It's going to be number seven there, Freeney. Leave it, James. Pushing Leave it. Brothers down into the corner. Grasso finds James. The Brethren spinning it wide. And it's in the hands of the fast man, Felsman. And then there is Murphy, and he's lost the ball. Jeeps now able to counter-attack. And Genia putting the good kick in from behind play. But a zippy Felsman will take the ball. Knock on. Scrum, Jeeps. But we'll come back to the initial knock on there from the hooker, Matt Murphy. Jeep and Jeeps now will have a scrum. And I believe this is our uh, first scrum of the day, Liam. How are you expecting it to pan out? Look, I think it'll be a really tight yeah, contest. This is a, a contest everyone's been really interested in seeing. Two good, good forward packs Let's going toe to toe. Please, fellas. Let's get it right. Jeez, isn't Radiki Samo a towering figure <laughs> amongst those 16 blokes? It's great to have blokes come back like that, you know, put back into the club <laughs> system after they've, you know, played at the highest level. It really gives all everyone down at the club a buzz. Well, it does. You know, it's not that. It's about the grassroots program. Um, he comes back in, and, you know, it's, um, it's an Bye. inspirational thing to a lot of the younger guys as well because, you know, I'm sure Set. he's probably got a, a myriad of stories that he can tell about, you know, international... You know, Super 15 rugby and all of that. Yeah, he's always, he's quietly spoken, Back. but he's, he's always got a good point to make at the right time. That's it. Now, brothers have done very well here to turn over the scrum. A great initial well, engagement. Open up. Jeeps now, they're going to have to work hard. The ball goes to Postal, who's met by Samo. Samo throws away the man. And it's going to be Freeney trying to dance his way through, but he's wrapped up by Setu. And Jeeps now, they're having to work really hard to try and keep brothers away from their line. Great High tackle. defense there from Jeeps. The lead advantage. We got advantage there, going to Jeeps for a high Started shot. Fine. Went high, fellas, above the shoulders, high tackle. Penalty only. High tackle. It's penalty only, no, for the high tackle. So, you know, we were talking about this. Uh, brothers were really, I think, right? didn't yeah. quite start off this game well, Liam, and... Um, now it looks like Jeeps, you know, they've given away three or four little mistakes there that have really blown out. And now we're seeing um, brothers knocking right on the door. So it'll be interesting to see what they go for here, whether they go for the three points. Obviously, we're about a quarter of the way in or whether they'll look to go for the line out option. Yeah, it will be interesting. Me I you know, after defending so well for <laughs> the first part of the game, I'd always be happy to go down, knock over the three and, and be three in front when you've, when you've been on the back foot for such a long time. Well, that's it. You know, it'd be a bit of a psychological blow to the to the Gallopers after you know having so many opportunities. Looks like we've got a bit of injury time here. The clocks have been we'll paused. We'll get ready. Ten minutes, boys. Just make sure. Got it. Keep going, keep going for me, keep going. It looks like, Liam, they're going to go for the line-out option here. So we could see, you know, a bit of a brothers driving more coming here. So the GPS scrum is, GPS forwards, I beg your pardon, is going to have to work really hard here. Um, I don't know if trying to counter line-out should be on the cards right now or whether it should just be trying to... I think it'll be countering them all from, from five out. Head down and burrow in. Yeah, that's right. And try and uh, get through and get some hands onto that ball at the back. And brothers, they won't have an opportunity here. They spin it out. Grasso to James. Great and charge up the middle. And it'll be the number 10, Patrick James from brothers, taking first blood here. Jeeps, an early lead, five points to nil. So great little set piece there. And you've got to commend brothers on the fact that uh, I think they probably did have something uh, in the works there for the forwards in such close proximity. But obviously, uh, Grasso did really well to wrap that 
straight Pretty ball clean. up and get it out. And then James uh, found some space and got through to the line. Yeah, look, brothers always good, got good basic skills. So even if it doesn't quite go to plan, you know, they, they're still dangerous all over the park. Well, that's it. We see there Patrick James striding through about two yep. or three Jeeps defenders there. Just couldn't quite get a hand on him. So a great little run there <laughs> from the 5'8". And it'll be Felsman from in front. Okay. Jeez, he's a bit close. Well, you know, some men like it that way. <laughs> and that'll be Felsman adding another two points to his own tally for the season, as well as brothers who now take a lead seven points to nil. So we're about a quarter of the way through the match here. It's only 7-0, and um, I'll be really interested to see uh, what Jeeps are going to do here to try and lift and meet this brother's back. team today. Look, I think they just need to stick to what they've been doing. It's, it's been working. They just need that little bit of execution in the, after a few phases. Uh, make sure a few of those passes go to hand. Here we go now. It'll be Pulu for the return. What I got, let's go. Pulu does well, he kicks high. And he's back inside the 22. So, you know, Liam, if I had to pick anything, I'd say this would be an ideal start here for Jeeps. Just They've got a pretty good platform. They're about 20, you know, 25, 28 metres out here, from boys, the brothers' middle. line. They just need to have a nice, safe, safe line out. They just need to work it up, and then they've got the utilities out in the back line to really do some damage. Yeah, look, and they'd just like to suck up some time before they get 15 back on the park. Well, that's it. Here we go. Good line out there. It finds Genia, who spins it out to the number 13, James Herbert. Stray ball there. Misses the hands of Sykes. And the fullback, Winkley. Will have a run himself. And there is Gorman. Holding. Brothers doing well getting up off the line fast in defence. Well, that's it. They seem to have switched on a bit. They're getting wise. Pulu there. Swings it wide. Felsman is trying to chase down the fullback, Winkley. He won't get him in the end. Jeeps now. Getting a bit more depth in their attack. Genia finds Samo. They'll take him down. Great work in the ruck there from Jeeps. Sykes goes the dummy. But the big number five, Terran Walls doesn't bite and brings him down. Jeeps doing some good work here. Taking the play all the way over to the sideline. But this Jeeps defense is really starting to buckle down upon them. And I have to say, this uh, Jeeps defence is doing a fantastic job. They've managed to push Jeeps back. Ooh. Big hit there. Nothing wrong with it. Pulu. Finds Winkley. Winkley's brought down by Talakai. Great little crash ball there from the number six, Matt Baker. Get here. They send it wide to find at the 13. Herbert. Kirindrani's over the top to support. But the ball's been knocked loose, and it looks like Jeeps have managed to hold on to it. Inside. Inside. Probably a little unlucky there, I think. Offside. Yeah, I see that. Call against Jeeps there for being offside. I think, you know, the little, uh, the ball kind of, was moving a lot around the breakdown there, kind of going back and forward off feet. And uh, the Jeeps player was found offside, then he interacted with the ball and then led to the penalty here. So Jeeps there, Felsman, great little kick, puts him about 30 metres out. And we'll see here. There's a stray brother's hand in there. I think that's what a bit of the uproar from Herbert was. Mm, I think the original infraction happened before that one in Five the ruck with the player being ahead of nah. the line. Not Five too off. sure there, a few bodies in the yeah. way. But it's good to see Jeeps lining up here for the line out. Well, we have got time, my out. We right, guys? You right. We're in back play here. I think we do have an injury. We're not sure.
But for all those at home, if they're not aware, today's match, today's round for Brothers and Jeeps is the Flynn Lewis Memorial Shield. Now, the Flynn Lewis Memorial Shield is a cumulative points trophy, and uh, the team who manages to have the most from the eight games will walk away with set Memorial Shield. We'll get talking about that one a little bit later because we've got to come back to the line out. Murphy throws it in. Do really well there. And the number 12, Gendel, the captain, had a good run. Tackled, release the ball and then go. A lucky penalty there. He probably thought he's, he'd get up and go again. Well, that's it. Gendel, Early. the captain, he does have a smile on the dial, but the penalty was against him for not releasing. So, you know, after 23 minutes, I'm pretty impressed that the scoreline is only 7-0, but I'm not impressed by that kick not going out. Fell's been doing very well to take it. And now we have James charging down the wicket, and Felsman links up with him. Yep, no worries. Brothers ball. And through a yep. turn of events, the uh, ball is going to go back two brothers because it looks like Felsman managed to release the ball and it came off the hands of a brother's plate before it went out. So some good touching there from the guys on the side. And brothers, they're doing well now. They spit it out. James finds Talakai. Bastal now. Bastal brought down. The brethren picking and driving their way down the field. James sees a gap. He's going to try go himself. He's already got one, but he's they're linked boys, up with boys. Tupo. Tupo's yep. charging oh, down the wicket. James now, ball in hand. Big pass wide. Jeep's working hard here to wrap them up. It's going to be Bailey. Leave it now. But he'll come up short. Penalty advantage. Tackler. Brothers still have the ball. And that'll be a try. We're right, Nick. Yeah. And what a great turn of events there for Brothers. They managed to get over the try line again there. Yeah. Score now 12 points to yeah. nil. Managed to keep a nice rolling Eight. attack there, and they Eight. got them across. We'll have a look at the replay here. It started with James. He found some space. He spins it wide. And then the big man, number four. I get it. I get it. I get it. Listen, I get it. Which Skelton does very well. He gets meters. Head, okay? James again. Bait, big cutout pass. Listen, no, no, listen, listen. Keep your head. Let Finds the number 15 right. and fullback. Fitzgerald. Links up with Bailey. Yeah. Anyway, there, mate. And then we see brothers trundling over the line there. Great little Be hammer on from pulled down. I didn't see it. The boys, he gets them across the line, extend their lead, twelve points to nil, and we come back now to Felsman kicking for the two. Strikes. And there are the flags. Brothers extending their lead. 14 points to nil. Now, Liam, it looks like uh, the brethren, they're really starting to uh, get a feel for the game. And they're starting to hit Jeeps where it hurts. I think this is a really big time now for Jeeps to try and uh, respond. Yeah, look, brothers' attack's very impressive. It's very quick ball and very direct. Patrick James is having an outstanding game at the moment. His decision-making's been second to none. So Jeeps really need to hit back with some points here. Here we go. Pulu. Kick just outside the 22. Good metres. They swing it wide. That'll be Skelton taking the hit up. Play on. Good steal there. Good counter ruck. And the Gallopers have found themselves in possession. Skelton brings him down. Tackle. Great pick and drive there from the number eight, Richards. Play on. Ball still good. Oh. Genia. Sedu. Finds the number 12 there. Hunt. Now the 15 weekly. He's going to try to get through, but the brothers' defense impeccable. 
Brothers going for the counter ruck. Stay on your feet, leave it, brothers. Thank you. Bagania fishes it out. Skelton now. One of the Gallopers' go to men for a pick and drive. Genia. Brothers really putting up a fantastic defence here around the ruck. Jeep's struggling to find metres, but a good little charge there. We'll see them get closer to the 22. Leave it. Many bodies piling into the breakdown. Genia will fish it out. Looking for his options left and right. Let's go, let's use it. Sedu. Move. Pulu now is in the fray. Move. Ball's loose and Skelton sees an opportunity to pick and drive. It seems like speed is the best option. And the Gallopers grinding their way towards Brothers' try line. Kaitu now. Great work from the hooker. Six metres out from the line. Advantage. They're going to keep on rolling through. They're doing a fantastic job in Genia. He'll put it into the hands of Hunt. Hunt will try and go himself, but he'll fall just a little short. Pulu's there, and he's going to try. You got the number Gallopers are on the line. White Here goes the prop. Yes. Burke. Away. Move. Manage. And it's going to be the hooker, Felidi Kaitu. Now, Liam, I don't know if you've been aware of this, but in the, in the last few weeks that we've seen uh, Jeeps uh, on the live stream, Kaitu has just been an absolute an absolute demon when it comes to uh, these driving the tries. And it's just so fantastic it to see. Coming this way. Had an advantage for a grass cutter tackle. All right, just got diving at the feet of a player. Right. It's a yellow card if I've got the number on yep. it, mate. Let's just discipline and be clear on it, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Well, we were just listening there, and there's been a bit of a bit of a communication there through to brothers. Uh, I haven't spoken to him about reported that grass cut about tackling grass going in, yeah. okay. and uh, if the right, number so if they do find out who, the what the number is, that. they are right, going to uh, potentially I'll, I'll yellow card it, there. Okay. So it sounds like someone's just yeah. missed yep. the uh, executioner's blade. Yeah, we're, right, we are. yeah. Oh, look, on. it's I really believe in a shoulder charge for the shins, but rules are the rules, I suppose. Well, that's it, mate. It's all about safe gameplay these days because, uh, you know, the worst thing we want to see is uh, anyone injured, uh, you know, if by means that, you know, weren't kind of fair and in the spirit of the game. Yeah, look, the referees definitely have their job. So, as you said, rules are rules. Rules is rules, hey, Macca. And it's going to be in the number 11, Batty Basaga. Great strike there from the winger. Jeeps, their campaign now open. Ten minutes remaining in the first half. The difference, seven yeah, points to Brothers 14. Yeah. So what I liked there was, yep. um, I've said this all season, Genia does a really great job from the back of the Jeeps breakdown. That when the, okay, when the forwards have got something good going on, he just Clearing lets them keep like going. Said, right. And he just hovers there, you know, a metre or two behind the breakdown because he sees that that's what's working. So, you know, it might be now that he's going to say, right, when we get close, so 20 metres out, let's just go for, you know, a really hungry pick and drive session. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's just about picking those right moments to go wide or when to, when to go through the middle. Well, that's it. Great take there from Baker in the white headgear. When you've got players like, you know, Filetti K2 um, on the pick and go, it's, it's definitely going to be a strength. He's definitely a player for the future. Well, that's it. Jeeps, they're holding on to the ball now. They're trying to work it out. It's in... Number 13, James Herbert's hand. That's uh, Stephen Hunt, 13. We've got a bit of a change there. Herbert, 12. Someone gave me the wrong name. <laughs> I apologise. And here we go now. Pulu from the back. Puts the kick in. And it's recovered well. And here it comes. The 5'8", James. He is dancing through the field of players. But he's finally wrapped up. But he's linked up with Felsman. Felsman beelines for the corner, and he will take another five points there and add it. Brothers now extending their lead, 19 points to seven. Just creeping up. And you know, I have to say, Liam, uh, on the brothers' side of things, Patrick James has just been an absolutely outstanding player today. He's uh, got a, a lot of speed, and I think he's one of the guys that Jeeps are going to have to make sure they just don't give him an inch or he's going to take a mile. Yeah, look, he was, he was good for him in the first round as well, and he's, he's been instrumental for them today. But... 
you know, you know that you can't give a team like Brothers broken field. Here we come back to the replay here. It starts with Pulu going okay. for the safe kick out of bounds, but he doesn't make the sideline. It goes straight into the throat of James there. And James sees open space and will dance his way through. Funnily <sighs> enough, Genia was the man that eventually got him down, but it didn't matter because he had the ever so deadly Mitch Felsman in pocket. And Felsman went away into the corner. Take another five points, and now it'll be Felsman kicking to extend Brothers up to a potential 21-7 lead. Felsman, big strike. But it's unsuccessful. Brothers leading Jeeps here at Crosby Road. 19 points to 7. Felsman, one of the highest point scorers thus far in the Brisbane Premier Grade competition. Counts before our uh, round 12 bouts. He uh, currently sitting on 100 points even. He's accumulated 15 tries. So definitely um, one of the people to keep an eye on when you're out there. And uh, I definitely think he's one of the main attacking points for brothers. And here we go. Number seven there, Freeney. Brothers, they're going to try to work it up out of the half. But they'll get back to Felsman. Puts the boot on downtown. It'll find Winkley. Winkley. Arms runs in. Running. To a tormenting shoulder of Richard Skelton. Could be a yellow card here, I think. Okay. No arms. No arms. And we're going to come back there. It's going to be a penalty against... No arms in the tackle. Number four there, Richard Skelton. Okay. Yeah, just... No arms in the tackle. Right. Massive contact there on the number 15, Winkley. Knocked his stuffing out, I believe. And But uh, there we go now. So a bit of a turn there. It's rolls reverse now. Brothers, we've got five and a half minutes left in the first half. They've lost an important forward here. So that means that the, uh, you know, the ability of yes. their scrum and their lineouts is going to be a bit diminished. Yeah. So I think if there was ever a unique opportunity, uh, an opportunity, let anything, for Jeeps to try and get across the line and close that gap a bit, it's going to be right now. Because as we showed before, as they showed before, it's the picking and driving option and just that fast, quick play that they did so well that got them across the line. Yeah, when you lose a big body like Skelton, yeah, definitely up the middle is going to be a, a bit easier for you if it's, if it's open. That's it, and a great line out there. The set piece, and no surprise, it's in the hands. With Kaitu at the back. It's good counter more by our brothers there. They've done really well, and Genia calls it back. Pulu. Great work there from the brothers' defence. And here we go, Samo. Samo will take the crash ball there, and he's going to get about seven metres out, and Kaitu burrowing in like a tick. Finds the metres. And here come Jeeps now. They're going to look to try and pick and drive, and they're etching closer. It's going to be the number five, Gorman. Gorman will come down. Sykes. The big prop. They're bolting onto him. The ball's at the back. They're going to keep trying to hammer in there. They're getting very close. And that'll be a try. We're not sure who the try went to there. Herbert, I think. Or maybe he just grabbed the ball off someone so he'd say that. Sounds like a typical back thing back, to do. Yeah. Jump into the jump in at the last moment. Oh, about, fellas, look what it did. After 18 pick and goes. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll come back here. Great phase play. And we discussed this, you know, minutes ago yeah. in that line out that, you know, it seems like Jeeps have found what the uh, good counter is when they get close to that brother's line. It's going to be the grinding pick and drive. It's very funny because when UQ were against brothers Thanks, here man. about three or four rounds ago, the pick and drive grind... Seldom picked up points for the attacking team, and it was just an astronomical display of defence. So, um, really good to see the Jeeps have got you know quite an aggressive method of play there. Yeah, look, you, you know, you got some short, stocky bodies in the in the front there, so keeping low to the ground can can be easier for those boats getting under some of the tall blokes. 
Badim Saga. Hits it wide. Here we go now. It's Jeeps here. We've got five minutes left on the clock. They're trailing 12 points to 19. It's only one converted oh, try here. So a couple, there, you know, five good minutes of play. You know, we could see the score is very close, if not tied here, Liam. Yeah, look, I think either team would be disappointed to, to let each other uh, put on more points before half time. You know, it's always that danger period, first 10. Well, that's it. And we're also seeing that both teams, they're really feeling, trying to feel each other's game out here because we've seen little passages of play from both where they've both been very dominant and uh, then it's kind of just this back and forth and it's actually really good to see. And here we go now. Jeeps. Good charge there from Gorman. Genia goes wide. Finds Winkley. Put his stuffing back in. Last fight. And Freeney. Like a madman, tries to go through the middle of the ruck, but is eventually Done. slowed down. It goes to Sykes. Pulu. No, no, no. Now, I'm not sure what's happened there. I think Pulu must have thought it must have been close to the half time. And he's uh, just gone for this little kick. And inevitably, he's just given Chiefs on a silver platter an absolute golden opportunity. They might be a man down, but I think, you know, that's not the best call from Pulu. No, you always like to see him try to kick long, but that's a right. bit of a let off here, it looks. Inside shoulders. Option. Scrum all on our captain. Line out. And, you know, really interesting We're there outside. that uh, they got We're given outside. the option for the not straight scrum uh, or line out, and they picked the line out. Now, for me personally, control. with one of the big powerhouses like Skelton out, I'd be leaning more towards the scrum because, let's face it, one big less brothers, kick on open. the field means that there's brothers. a lot less weight in that scrum. So, open you know, it, it could have been a lot easier for Jeeps, and they could have really maybe pushed the, oh. you know, the... Last yeah. man's feet back for brothers. Yeah, maybe they maybe they've identified something in the line out they want to utilise too, or easier maybe. to clear. I from. think there's a bit of frustration on the field that they're even positioned here right now. That's right. And here we go. They've done well to get it. Genia. Hopefully, hope he hopefully it's half time. <laughs> now that will be half time in what I can only describe as. Hang on. What's going? On? Oh no, they're going back to half time behind the sticks. What I can only describe is, uh, I think Pulu will be kind of very kind of <laughs> sigh of relief there that uh, Genia finally got it right. But it is half time here at Crosby Road, and we do see the juniors scuttling onto the field for the half time, and it will be brothers with a lead of 19 points to 12 over Jeeps in what I feel has been a very good first half, and um, I'm enjoying watching the kind of the counter attacking here. We've got to have a look at the statistics. And now the overall, you know, feel of it is territory in possession, 64 and 60, place 35 and 40. Jeeps right. have had more ball and, you know, more territory. But I think the overwhelming thing that we're seeing here, brothers are ahead on points, and it's because when they're getting the ball, they're doing more with it. I think also two tackles missed by brothers, eight by Jeeps. It, it, there's a mid yep. part of the game there uh, where so brothers were really impressive Jeeps. getting up off the line in D. Well, the big sides. thing is that okay. eight... I don't even think that even comes close to, you know, counting the amount of people that um, yeah. the 5'8", yeah, Patrick okay. no James, worries. saw and just so brilliantly evaded. You know, such great bursts of speed there. And another thing, you look at that brother's yeah, tackle yeah, count, six, okay, 63 to 23. Yeah. Yeah. That's nearly three times, that's over, that's three times the amount of uh, what Jeeps have done. So I think a real feather in the cap needs to go to Jeeps there because even with brothers, which have a high uh, tackle completion rate, they weren't able to stop two, you know, pick and driving tries that got across the line. That's right. And look, I think the message you can take from there is that their yeah, the brothers yeah. are uh, executing when they've got the ball. You know, Jeeps have only had to make 23 tackles, but when they've been down in Jeeps half, they've made it count. Well, that's it. Obviously, uh, I think the big thing for Jeeps going into the second half will be need to keep these figures up, but let's try and use the ball a bit better while we have it. And it seems like they're starting to unravel the brothers' defence there a bit. Well, it is half time. And if you are on Facebook, please make sure you're linking into our second half uh, broadcast. There's a link for that one on the site. And if you're on YouTube, stay right where we are. We'll be back in about five or ten minutes. Don't go anywhere.
Mate, it's a really good contest, yeah. Let's just keep the heart, keep that offside. You, you, you talk's really good, so keep it up. It's really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we've been I'm just, I'm just aware of, you know, like, Jeep's captain has come up and said, you know, we've, we've been down here once and they've just killed the ball in the red zone. Let's, let's just be alert for that stuff. And I didn't have the number. I wasn't sure if you saw him on like, the grass cutter that I... I didn't, I just didn't, I, I wasn't 100% certain, I wasn't going to guess it. I thought it was the guy with the head tag, the front rower, but I wasn't certain. Yeah. Hmm? No, it was a grass cutter, I think he just went straight. Yeah. The lake, they scored off it in the end, so. Well, if you're joining us here, we are in the second half of our BLK Premier Grade Round of the Week between Brothers and Jeeps. My name is Martin Lippiot, and joining me here, it's Liam Ferguson from Jeeps. Liam, welcome to the second half. Yeah, thanks, Martin. It's uh, been a cracking first half, great running rugby. 
both teams keeping the ball in hand. So uh, let's hope for, for an equally good second half. Well, that's it, mate. And, you know, um, so I think it's a really hard fought, come up a you know, quick. first so half here. On paper, sure Jeeps for the underdogs coming in here. And um, brothers, I think, have been really oh, dangerous. Five. But I think Jeeps have been playing some really smart football. And of the recent weeks, it seems like that's like you one of the go. things that Jeeps does well. They kind of, they have a bit of composure. They play some smart football. Captain, good. And um, obviously, brothers have been 14, you know, since the player went off. That's when Jeeps have really struck. Oh, yeah. And uh, I yeah. think that highlights how effective the brothers forward pack is. But we're going to come here now. It's going to be the kickoff. Great work there. They're kicking very deep into Jeeps territory. Genia will have the ball and he's going to look for the kick out. That'll do it. And it's going to go out there, about 35 metres from the Jeep's try line. Good opportunity early here for brothers. Yeah, it will be, mate. You know, they're sitting about 35 metres out. they still got the man down in the lineup, so, you know, we'll probably see the four and five man option. Um, so I think it's going to be really important here for brothers. They're going to have to make sure they complete. He's in. He's in. You're right. Are you they in or out? complete this line out or, um, well, he's out. you know, I can see Jeeps trying to, you know, make a quick dash and make the most of um, the numerical well, Just advantage. a bit disjointed there, as you can see, down the second row. Foot. I see there, a bit of a fumble there, and brothers, they get the ball off the boot there, and it'll find Pulu, who I don't think will try to go for the sideline like he did in the first half. Uh, now the danger man, Felsman. Felsman sees some options, the third generation brethren. Ten out. Grasso. Number 17 on for Jeeps is Sykes picking up the ball there. I think Trent Anderson must have started in the one jersey, but they're both bald props. Well, that makes it a bit difficult for me up That's here, right. Liam, you know. Hold it, hold it. Maybe one of them should just, like, sharpie an initial on well, the Well, I think Sykes got, uh, has a dirty moustache on the front of, his, front of his lip there, Scrum so I bet that's the only difference between the two. Probably thinks it's trendy. Oh, I think he does. We would, I guess, no one's had the heart to tell him yet. No. Well, you they probably have, but he doesn't listen. Legal, they're strange people, the props. Mmm, mmm. Must be all the pressure. That's right, that's right, goes to your head. <laughs> that's it. And we're going to pack down here for what's been a rarity this game. It's going to be the scrum. Yeah, I'll give you tap. And uh, I think uh, I've have been surprised we haven't seen one since uh, Skelton left the paddock. And uh, I'm really interested to see here if we're going to see a big nudge from the Gallopers. Well, it'd be a good opportunity to put some pressure through the front row. Well, that's it. They're about 37 metres out from the try line there. And they've done so well. It's a great scrum from Brothers. And they've earned themselves a penalty. Up. And it's a penalty against the front rower there, Sykes, yeah. standing up in the scrum. So um, a definite relief for brothers there, being able to now kind of get downfield a little bit further, get the line out and uh, see what they can make happen. I think that's only been about the second scrum of the day, hasn't it? Second or third, yeah. So it's really been a rarity to see them. And um, I'm not too sure why, uh, to be honest. Um, brothers good, have got a ball very good scrum, and Jeeps proved the other night they also do. Yeah, not much drop ball. Murphy throws it in. The ball's fumbled. Numbers and fantastic and take there from Baker. Six and five. But short arm. I think for closing the gap. Six and five numbers. Scrum, guys. There we go. So they're going to opt for the scrum again, and uh, rightly so. They're proving to be quite dominant, even with one man down. So um, it'll be interesting to see what the Gallopers are going to do to respond here for Brothers. So Sam Talakai is the uh, prop there for Brothers, obviously a Reds player. So a good battle between him and Freddie Burke, but that Freddie will be looking to, to square up and keep the pressure through him this time. Well, the other thing is, you know, they've got Postal on the other side of it, on the Crouch. front row. So between Talakai and Postal, that's um, quite Vine. a formidable you know, pair of humans to be on the front line. That's right, Set. you can't give them an inch. Well, that's it. A lot of technical prowess for both sides. And brothers are trying to nudge it through. And they'll get it there, and they're even going to try juggle, but... Number three. 
No, over there, over there, mate, over there. Can you get up through there? please. Don't run at me, the mark's over there, okay? So the back of the scrum, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Number three, not driving straight. And it'll be the penalty against number three there, not driving straight. So Freddie Burke having a bit of a tough time there against Postal. I think they've just got a Jeep's front row's just got to drop their body height a touch. Uh, with the new scrum rules, it, it takes a while for the pressure to come through. So the first person to sort of lift their body height or, or give a bit of pressure will Well, that's will the thing. Um, it's no secret that brothers have one of the most technical scrums in the competition. And... Um, you really need to have your counter scrum on point when you're going against them. That's right. And brothers, they're spinning it out wide now. They've got the numbers, Grasso. Great charge there from the number 17, Danila Tupo. Bit of a high hit, and it's going to be advantage given to brothers. Grasso, great little ball there to Postal. The number 10, James, will get wrapped up and brought down. Brothers looking dangerous. They've got numbers. The big sub prop there, Tupo. Doesn't have enough traction. James, big throw wide. Advantage is over. And they're out wide now. The brothers have squandered the opportunity. Advantage over for yep, yep, the anyone. highest shot earlier. It's going to be a Jeep's line out here. Very important, I think, Liam, for um, for the Jeeps to seal this one off. And that'll be number four there, Richard Skelton, re-entering the paddock. So it's back to a 15 v 15 bout. Yeah, Jeep's pretty well, lucky there to get, a, there, get off with that. A bit of a mis-execution there from uh, Brothers. So they'll be looking to exit cleanly here. And great ball there, finds Baker. Genia puts the kick in. It's high. Oh, oh and a very narrow miss there for Batty Basaga. And, you know, um, I think that's one of the interesting things. I think that's one of the loosest passes that we've seen from the number 10, Patrick James and Brothers, that kind of resulted in the field position right now. I agree with you. I believe you're not pushing straight. You went in on the angle. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be too harsh on him. He's been pretty good for him today. He's, he's been instrumental in all 19 points for Brothers. Sorry? Well, that is it entirely. Let's go, now, Let's go, now, Let's go, now, Sammy. Big fucking scrum again. What do you like? Let's go, eh? Seconds in. Seconds in. Seconds two. Wait, let's go. Balls here. Wait, Sneeze. Sneeze. Crouch. Bind. Set. So if you're Set watching at home on YouTube or Facebook, Please make sure that you tune in to uh, if you are aiming to watch this on Facebook. You need to find the new player for the second time for the second half broadcast. But we're going to come back to it. It's going to be Freeney charging away there, and it's going to be the big fellow who's returned to the paddock. Skelton, Skelton does well. He knocks the ball on, but it's going to go out. So just a friendly reminder: there was going to go back to it before brother so rudely interrupted me. Um, the second half player is its own entity. So if you are trying to watch it on Facebook, do. Look Guys, to the uh, Reds rugby page where we do have an active link right for that one. Well, we're going to come back to the rugby there. And uh, already immediately there, Liam uh, Skelton making his presence known and a fantastic charge there. Sees brothers, you know, five metres out. Yeah, look, brothers really benefiting from a really strong scrum there. Jeeps are really going to have to work to, to fix that up. Oh, that's it. It's going to be very, very uh, important here that they get the ball out. Hold. They've done well. Jeeps Hold. finds Gorman. Genia. Pull loop for the kick. Deep in the try zone. And the ball's going to go out. Good field position here for Brothers. Well, that's it now. It's... um. 
I think a good counter line out if Jeeps can get it. It'll kind of get them off the back foot and they can try to make something of it and get Guys, into maybe get some brothers territory because make we've almost please. been in this end of the field the entire game now for both halves. Yeah, well, bro brothers dominating the set piece and the scrum, so Jeeps need to see if they can dominate the line out. Well, that's it. They definitely do have some tall timber, but great work there. It'll find Bochum. And a great run here from the backs and the zippy Felsman. And you see, Liam, there is the man that you just do not leave unmarked. And um, a real, sh real shame there. Kurandrani just wasn't out there on him to mark him up. But uh, fantastic work, which started on the inside from James. Yeah, look, it, uh, beautiful long ball there from Nathaniel Gendel and to, to get through the line from the start. But, you know, we're down this end purely on the, on the back of the brothers' scrum. So you could probably almost chalk that one down to the to the brothers forward pack. And we have a look here. Brothers doing really well. It starts with Bochum winning the scrum. The line out, I beg your pardon. And then some great work there from the number 12. Gendal charges away, links up with the steaming Felsman. And there we go. Brothers now leading Jeeps 24 points to 12. And it'll be Felsman here to kick his own. Just outside the 22, about eight metres from the sideline. Felsman strikes. Pulls it to the left. Brothers lead, 24 to Jeeps, 12. So uh, we've talked about how, you know, Jeeps have to really work hard, harder, I think, than brothers do when they've got the ball. And we're seeing what's happening now. Okay, 30, 35 to 40% that brothers had in the first half, and they had a lead of 19, 12. If Jeeps allow them to have any more than that, we're going to start seeing that deficit opening up again. So it's going to have to be some really aggressive rugby here from the visitors. Yeah, look, they're going to have to uh, make sure they make every opportunity count from here on in. And we're going to come back here. It's going to be a scrum to Jeeps. Now, this is going to be an interesting one because brothers, you know, with seven men on two occasions have been lethal in their scrummaging. So um, I think Jeeps are just going to have to try and uh, lock in, brave the storm, and just get that ball out to get here and maybe see what the backs can do. Yeah, look, and there's a lot of pride in the Jeeps front row, so they'll be looking to lock this down and, and, and you know, get back on an even footing in these scrums. Totally agree. So here we go. Jeeps, visually a bigger pack, but brothers are definitely, uh, I, feel, I think, one of the more, the most technical in the Brisbane Premier Grade competition. So There's it's going to be a good contest. Big bodies in that brothers' Set. front row. Steady. And here we go now. Genia feeds. And brothers. Binds. I asked you to bind long. Don't bind on his arm. Go. Don't and the penalty going done. against the brothers' scrum there. Yeah. Um, he's mine. I don't think Jeeps would be taking the option for this. Well, the scrum. thing was, the refs called that. He said that he's warned them that they need to be binding no, long, and brothers are binding very just short it. there. And you know, it gives them that unfair advantage in Bond the drive. The and uh, it sounds like he just doesn't want a bar of it. It's exactly what I said, okay? Yeah. Let's get it right. So we're going to come here now. Great opportunity for Jeeps. Simon Moore doing a fantastic job out there, refing the match this evening. Nice open game that he's, that he's been maintaining. That's great. The ball finds Baker. Moore. Driving malls on the menu. Come here. So this could be a yellow card here. Go. Nathaniel. No, no. He's attacked the head of a player. In I think it was role. playing the man's head. Cut it out. Let the guy, no, no, They've been doing a lot of pass it on to your team, round the neck. So there, Daniel Tupo going off the field there, some dangerous play in the breakdown, Liam. And, um, neck roll. So I can't really, uh, you know, I can't ever justify, you know, that kind of stuff going down. You know, there's always a solution to technically beating your opponent. So I know there's, at this level there's a bit of niggle, there's a bit of whatnot, but, um, just not a smart move to do when you're five. Yeah, I don't. I don't line. think his his captain or his fellow forwards would be happy with him on that one. Well, that's it. 
So here we go now. Jeeps have got an opportunity, but the brethren have linked together sensationally. And it's going to be Kaitu. He's going to try and go himself there, like we've seen him so many other times. And here come Jeeps. They're in the striking position that they like, just outside of the try line. Now the forwards, they're going to try and drive through, but brothers are going to have to be careful. Some of those grass-cutting tackles haven't been good, but they've managed to turn the ball over. And the ball's been knocked on, and Winkley... Wigley recycles it and gives it to the number 12, Herbert Genia. Cut out pass. Still playing. To Batty Basaga. Batty Basaga dances and gets around. Fast. Kaitu goes on in, goes his own but gets dry, driven back on to the breakdown. No advantage. Fuck on white. But they're gonna bring it back here, oh. Liam, to the um, initial knock-on from Brothers. Yep. So you know, very interesting so thing in, here. Yeah, yeah. Brothers are not yep. going to have uh, another man on the field for about seven another, I don't know, nine, seven. eight and a half, nine minutes. So yeah. we've already seen the Jeeps can do it. Yeah. Jeeps seem to react well when the Brothers have got that man down. So I think if they're going to try and make so something happen, it's going to be now. Sure. Yeah, sure. No we go back to the replay here. Great picking and driving yeah. options. Left, right and centre. But the ball was Counter-rucked well up. there, but they're knocked on by the number eight, Bochum. And the ball spins wide, but we're going to come back to the, right, come the initial knock-on from Brothers. Yeah, look, we spoke earlier about Jeeps needing to take every opportunity they get down the, down the red zone. So this is one of them. Sorry, guys. Stand up. What's going on, fellas? We're all right now? Righto. Righto, guys. Let's go. He's going to come to you. Charlie, he's going to come to you. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Charlie, let's roll. Looks like there's a bit of a uh, nitty gritty stuff happening in the background there, but it's going to come back to the scrum. Now, this is, I think, um, a bigger emphasis on this scrum is definitely going to be for brothers than Jeeps. Because yeah, well, brothers, the uh, they've done well with the 7v8 comp in the scrum. And now they're going to have to work even harder there. Eight's off. Eight's off. Play on. Oh, and a great charge through to the line by the number 12, Herbert. And here we go, Sykes. Away, right. Away. Thank you. Last here. Jeeps could line. sniff the line. Eight. Line. And Kaitu now will have a go. Line. Balls at the back. Genia finds Setu. Pulu looks for the line. He does well to hold on there. Genia, he's going to go back the other way. Maybe go himself. No half back here for Jeeps now. Picking and driving on the menu, and that's what they like. But it's going to be advantage to go to Brothers from the knock on there from Sykes at the breakdown. Pressure completely let off. They're going to have to work hard here to try and lock this up. But Jeeps yeah. have got the ball and they've taken it out of play. It's going to be a brother's line out on the 22. Nope, we're scrum. going to bring it back to the scrum. Five metres out. Just here, fellas. So I don't know if it's a combination scrum of here, uh, maybe Jeeps aren't finding the same rhythm that they did when they were you know, down the other yep. end in this same scenario in the first half. Or yeah. it's, is it that brothers are, uh, you know, they're kind of neutralising that attack now. Well, but it's just not having the same impact that it did this time last half. I think it's just lacked a bit of direction there. And then obviously that resulted in a bit of poor execution on, on the pick and go. So, you know, I think Jeeps would really be disappointed. As we said, they need to take advantage of every opportunity they've got down here, particularly yeah, while they're, yeah. they're playing 14. Stay here. Let's see, we've got some time off here. Okay. Righto. Okay. Go. How we go about getting a uh, scrum penalty here when we're just all over the top of them? Yeah, do the right thing. Do, mate, do the right thing and you'll get it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, on the back foot, just make sure we're hitting the last feet of the ruck. Make sure we're hitting it. We're right, mate. Let's go, guys. Time on. Coming back there, scrum you know, a very interesting uh, chat there coming from Nathaniel Gendel. Hey. And our fantastic ref. Here, boys. Let's go. Gendel, even though they've got a man down, Gendel's, they're prowling to look for the, you know, the scrum penalties here. And uh, 
That is just some amazing go, confidence that they have in that scrum, that even a man down that they're uh, thinking about, you know, milking the penalties from it. And that's, um, I'm now being honest, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, when your scrum's on, it's on. And so they'll be looking to make, take advantage of, it, of that strong platform. Well, that's it. And um, you know, Nathan will let Moore know that it uh, could be on the cards here. So, Set. Uh, Steady. He's, you know, been a, he's been around a long time as well, so he's... He's used to the to the talk as, as captain. And here we go now, Jeeps. They're getting a good nudge on. Bit of a cartwheel. And the ball's been kicked out the back here. Walking around. Walking around. But penalty against Jeeps there for walking the scrum around. And um, it's a real shame. It, like I said, it just takes off the um, all that great pressure that they've built up. And, uh, you know, the only way they're going to get this back is if... Uh, they have a good go. counter line out coming up soon, and um, we know Felsman's going to put it downtown pretty well. Yeah, they can't. They can't give them those easy outs out of there. Ah, there we go. And the ball hasn't gone out, and uh, it's in the hands of Winkley now. Winkley will link up with Kurandrani. Kurandrani, great offload there, but it won't find its way to Winkley like it was intended. And uh, brothers now have got the ball back just inside their own forty meter line. Last beat. Grasso hits Skelton. Brothers spinning it through the hands and going wide. Batty Saga wraps them up and brings them down. Grasso, James. Good little dart there from the inside centre Gendel. James puts the infield kick on, and the ball's rolling away down Jeep's territory. It's going to have to be a big return here. That's Dan Early on there. Dan Early back on the paddock. Had a great game on Wednesday, but here comes Kurandrani. He's got Winkley, but he sees he might have just wasted a good opportunity there. But Genia, he'll link up with the number six. He's isolated there. And here we go now. Jeeps, they've really done well to get the ball back down the other end. They need to take advantage of the numbers, but Samo will drop the ball. There's one of those opportunities we were talking about. Well, I think we might have blown a, a five-point opportunity there. Could have been seven. Could have been seven under the Sorry to uh, <laughs> kick a man when he's down. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was one of the things there. I really think that when we look at this breakaway play that uh, ended up with Kurandrani, uh, you know, it did well. Kurandrani was away. Winkley was there as an option. I think, go, you know, really should have given the ball off go, to Winkley there instead of going himself. I know he's a very um, very strong and talented Let's player, go. but uh, that sometimes is the difference between a good player and a great player. It's when they have the vision and the selflessness, you know, to hand the ball off to the guy in the better position. Yeah, he'd be kicking himself there with that decision, I think, and I think Winkley was, was throwing his head back there as well. He, he knew that it was a, it was a But, you know, that's just kind of the way it goes. And, you know, in the heat of the game, it's always very hard uh, to make those snap Boy. decisions, and, you know, sometimes it's... It's easy for us to judge up here Set. in the safety of our little box. Anyway, big scrum here. Jeeps are going to try to put the nudge on, but Brothers, fantastic there. display there. James has got the ball. Felsman now. Felsman will kick it down the far side. And it'll go out. And it's going to be a Jeeps line out. They're only 35 metres out here, Liam, but one of the important things is that yellow card has only got, you know, a few more minutes of effect. And uh, with a brother's forward pack that's pushing, you know, pushing you off with one man down, I don't know, something, somebody's going to have to kick into gear with these Jeeps guys this afternoon to get them to, um, you know, try and match this ferocious attack that yeah, look, they, on. they got 20 minutes remaining. they got to stick to their plan and they got to fix that scrum. Great work from Baker. Finds Samo. Samo, great inside ball to Pulu. Winkley can't quite get to it. Uh -oh. oh, but he gets to it anyway. Winkley, he's got Kurandrani okay, there to back no, him up. Leave it. Genia, bars in. Pulls it out. Samo. Sykes. Great pass. The forwards all in there. And here's Kaitu on the wing. Kaitu finds Batty Basaga. Batty basaga has got momentum. Ball somehow still in, but it's going to go out, and it's going to be a Jeep's ball. Now, I have to say, being a forward myself, 
Oh, was, I'm, I'm pretty stoked to see that, you know, about the four yeah, or five of them. Sykes starting it from the big front row. You know, showing their prowess. It's always good to see some big bodies in full flight. I think it was kind of good that it was passing right to left and yeah. not the other way. But some, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Sometimes too much space, though, can just lead to some bad bad decisions. Well, that's it. And, so. you know, I'm always um, very impressed with uh, Kaitu as a runner. And we're going to come back here to have a look at the um, you know, little passage of play that just unfolded you know, with most of those forwards in the back line. And we see that. He finds Sykes. Puts the big pass in. Finds Gorman to Sedu. And then Kaitu down the wing who gives it to Batty Basaga. And Batty Basaga just um, wrapped up by that good brothers cover defence. Yeah, good defence again there from brothers and Patrick James there again forcing the turnover. So he's and this is a bit of a worrying sight, Liam. It looks like uh, the hooker, one of the most fantastic forwards in the, the Jeeps forward pack there. Felini Kaitu might be leaving the field. Looks like we've got a bit of a cork, maybe a cork or an ankle injury there, which is um, never good to see. Yeah, he's, he's been battling a bit of a shoulder injury the last few weeks and he's been playing through. You know, he's got that desire to play week in, week out and... And, and get the yeah. results, so well, hopefully it's not too bad for The biggest him. thing is you've just got to get your foot inside the door. So coming on to replace him is um, Ryan Freeney. So he's, he's put on a bit of bit of weight because he's been out injured and he's taken up a desk job. Just Let's just hold the So hold, hold, he's, he's carrying hold a bit him. on the front. Hold him. Wait, wait. Just want to get him off, guys, that's all. And here we go. So it's going to be a good... Line out here for Jeeps. They're going to have to work hard. Freeney fresh on the paddock. He's the cousin of Freeney in the uh, brothers forward pack. Right. Right you know, I was kind of thinking that, but you know, I didn't want to speculate that, that. But there you go. Cousins are doing it for themselves. Freeney to feed. Jeeps dance around and fantastic work from brothers. Steal the line out. Grasso realigns his backs for the attack. James takes a few of them and he gets Samo on the top to bring him down. Four. Little infield kick there from Fitzgerald. Dan Early at the back. Dan, one of the seasoned players for Jeeps. Good to see him on the paddock. Brings a lot of experience. Kicks it way downfield, but it goes down the throat there. Of Brothers. Grasso looking for options, taking his time. Murphy tries to <laughs> do a bit of a step in the summer, but it goes unnoticed. And the little infield kick there. Don't know if you want to see your forwards doing those little From Talakai, kick kicks. that's the second one this game. Maybe he's uh, trying Wait, to save. stop. You know, put me still, in, coach. Still. Oh. Bailey does well there to hold on to it, and he's going to go for a bit of a charge. Great forward running there from the back. And here we go now, Skelton. Skelton is a raging bull. And the ball's lost out there, and it's going to be in the hands of Early. It finds Pulu. Pulu, inside ball to Winkley. And here we go now. They're going to have to work really hard. Hold here. Jeeps are on the Stay here. front of some momentum here. Sykes. Away! Leave it! Pulu steps in. Finds early. Early sees space. Meets a skeleton. Kurandrani on the opposite side of the field now. Links up with Genia who quickly flicks it off to Sedu. Sedu brought down but the ball's still in play here. Brothers now have the ball. Felsman. And now the ball miraculously still alive. Brothers in command. Both teams running so hard and fast here as we go into the back quarter of the match. James. They become weary of the Zippy 5-8. They wrap him up. But here comes Grasso. Grasso's got speed and he's got Felsman. Kenya gets him initially down, but it's going to be the prop postal. And what a sensational effort there from Pulu. Hang on, hang on. Taken in by Brothers. 
and Co there to hold up the hold up that try from Costa. In goal Postal. by Brothers. Balls lost, grounded, 22. Place up. Place up. I think he's saying it was. Not he was gone. there. It looks like uh, in the got Postal as he was going brothers. for the line. He's uh, knocked it on. He's knocked it forward and mid flight. It's been recovered and then so grounded by the, uh, the Jeeps players. Nah. I think it might have been Pulu. And Jeeps there. Great little restart. They managed to hold to the ball. And here goes Winkley. Winkley's got space and he's going to try and get past the man. Bumps into two. Good Links hands. up with Kurandrani. Great inside step. The big man's underway. They're really struggling to get him down. Tupo's back on the field now. It's a 15 v 15 battle. And here we go. The number eight. He'll link up. And try that'll be a, Trent Anderson. a great try to Trent Anderson. And there's Sykes coming over to greet him. Look, both teams have played midweek games, so there's some tired bodies out there at the moment. But for the viewers, it's opening up, so it's it's good to see some passes going to hand. And just absolutely so you fantastic in, to right? see that continuity. Up, and it all started way back when we went to that short, you know, uh, restart there no from the 22. You know, Hat goes off to Pulu, who managed to ground we'll it, and the then... Uh, yeah, good desperation defence. It shows you never you never give up getting get towards that line. Here we go. And uh, there we see great little miniature, miniature drop kick out, kick out there from Genia. Finds Winkley. Winkley, great run. Gives it to a steaming Kurandrani. Kurandrani, it takes about three or four of them to wrap him up. Genia, quick to the ball. Finds Pulu again. Links up with the number eight. Richards, Richards offloads it. To Trent Anderson. Try time. <laughs> What a fantastic display there, Liam. Well, I think the message there for Jeeps is it's got to be direct, quick ball. That's what brothers have been doing to Jeeps, and Jeeps, Jeeps have simply got to do it back. Yeah, to that's them. it. And um, when you've got someone like Genia and Pulu, which are, you know, they have more than enough speed to keep up with the play, you guys just need to keep giving them options. Give them options so they can, you know, they can just feed it to you. And as long as they keep lining up to the plate, that's good things right. are going to happen. And that was a 15 v 15 battle. So that's one of the, f yeah. I believe that's the first time this game that Jeeps have gotten a try against brothers at full strength. So, you know, numbers aren't everything, it seems. They've just got to keep the pressure on them here now. And number 20 on for Jeeps is young Troy Simpkin. It's going to be a brothers line out here. Good call. On the Jeeps side of... 50 meter. Here we go. Murphy. Murphy defeated. Jeeps go to the back. Finds Skelton. James offloads to a steaming Gendel. They've got to get up off the line here, Jeeps, in defence. Cut down their space. That's it, and they're doing they a very good job of it. And here we and go they now. Force the turnover. They probably wanted to keep the ball. Pass forward. Scrum Jeeps. Yeah, so one of the um, big things now is Jeeps have got that momentum. They need to keep building on it. Brother, we've got 11 minutes left in the game, and if they back it off now, I fear they're not going to have enough time to build it up again and you know they're only five points behind now well brothers can turn the momentum here back their way with with a strong powerful scrum they got three reds players in the front row there against a, a young reserve grader in troy simkin and ryan freeney back from injury but freeney and trent anderson experienced premier grade props so let's see how we go here here we go this is going to be very interesting indeed i think the idea is going to be is quick ball in quick ball out get it to the set. backs and let's set the game right. that's right get here to feed can you feed brothers put on a huge nudge, but they've, they've done, done well, so well to get it out there. And here we go, Baker. But it's going to be Dan Early. He puts the infield kick in because he doesn't see the man there. And Felsman well up by Felsman. snatches it like a thief in the night from across the it's field. And it's going to hit there. his own player. Sedu bats off Felsman once. Bats him <laughs> off twice. But we're going to come it back. I wasn't sure He's what the side. rules would be there, whether they'd no be way. a penalty or accidental. I, I think it's a penalty and... Um, a bit unlucky, offside. but that's just one of those rules, I suppose. That's where the cookie crumbles there, Liam. I think more impressive is... I know Felsman's a very talented player, but I think he should maybe be a bit more cautious next time he tries to... Well, you know, Jeeps haven't found touch there. Because he... Um, 
He missed it. And it looks like Jeeps have missed another good opportunity there. Can't be giving brothers those, those and that's letters. It. And uh, brothers have missed the opportunity. It seems like the kicking line game for both teams has been uh, not very good today, Liam. Yeah, I think they'd both be disappointed with, with some of their Inside. kicks that they've had there today. There we go. A loose pass. Frolics around in the brothers' 22 Wait, zone. Brothers. And the Fawzi backs continues, linking up nonstop. Genia, hailed by early. They're coming down. He's got Kurandrani on the side. Here goes Kurandrani, the big man. Trots through it. Somehow, Dan Hurley gets an incredible ball. Flicks it into the field. Couldn't find Samo, but Samo finds it himself. And the ball going wide now. Pulu's there. Here he goes. There's Winkley. Someone Winkley picked up, up and put down. Pulu now at half back. Finds the substitute prop. There goes Baker. Roll. Thank you. Here come the gallopers. Pulu looks to go himself. A brave a option. There. Gorman grinds his way towards the line. But yeah, it's going to be a knock on errors. there. And, um, you know, great passage of play there. Ganny looks a little disappointed. But, you know, I think the big thing here is... Brothers are stuck down their end. Force them to kick out for the line. At best, you're working from about 25 metres. Yeah, look, I think a, a big difference has been, uh, you know, although he missed a, a kick to touch there that probably should have gone to touch, but Dan Early, you know, he's going direct and fast towards them. We come to the replay here, and we see Kurandrani. He's been such a fantastic runner of the ball. Miraculously gets a flick pass with the right, little rolling flick pass out with the right hand to Early. Early sees Samo in the middle and thinks, right, that's the tallest timber in the paddock. I'm going to throw it up. Samo finds it, gets it to Pulu. Winkley disposed of on the far side. I'm sure the boys won't let him live that down. And uh, we've got, it looks like we've got a few little niggles here. And you can see there, it looks like those Jeeps forwards are huddling in. So, Liam, what do you think the big discussion is going to oh, be yeah, with those Jeeps forwards right now? It's going to be about anchoring down this scrum here at the moment, but also in defence, getting up off the line and, and asserting the defence on yes, brothers as they did before to turn those turnovers. But you see, that's it. You, um, let's look at the so map. This way, this. Boys, one way, this way. Brothers have got oh, yeah. a more uh, so better, right? powerful and aggressive scrum. No denying that fact. Let's go, guys. So the solution is quick ball in, quick ball out like they did. We saw on the back of the scrum, Richards then links up with Genia and they send it out. We just had the camera on one of the most dangerous guys in that paddock. It is Kurandrani. If Kurandrani gets that ball and he's got some speed, it takes a lot of players Crouch. to bring him down. That's so, right. They just need to get, get down this end with some good front football. And then, you know, they can, you know, work the ball Set. one way. By that time, the forwards will catch up. We could see brothers, you know, closing this gap in the 65th minute. That's a good scrum for brothers. There we go. <laughs> They've earned themselves a penalty. The contest. And there we go. Brothers have done really well there. Uh, penalty going against Jeeps, pulling out of the contest in the scrum. And standing up, I believe, there. So, um... An opportunity gone wasted, uh, not quite yet, but the chances of Jeeps trying to turn this uh, brother's ball around is uh, getting narrow because they're going to, you know, we're going to come back here and have a look. Scrum's packed down, good engage there. Ball's rolled in. And uh, we see that the uh, brother's players, they're unable to uh, kind of deal, unable to, um, I beg your pardon, <laughs> Getting tongue tied myself here. Jeeps were unable to deal with that brother's attack and uh, standing up in the scrum. Brothers Stay in the, the 15, quite nine, well wait, there. Nine, nine. And a bit of a fumble there in the line out. And uh, I was saying it that they needed brothers to slip up and not have been an impeccable line out story for them today. And I think that was just it. Unfortunate for, uh, you know, the number seven there, way to set it. Yeah, if you had to split these two teams so far today, it'd definitely on, on, on the scrum. Brothers had the upper hand in the scrum. It's uh, not only provided them with some good attacking opportunities, but it, it's denied Jeeps a lot of a lot of solid front football that they could capitalise from. But, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's Premier grade, Liam, or um, all the way down, you know, in the grades. One of Jeeps' strongest assets is that rolling pick-and-drive play that they have, you know. How often do you see it? They do the wide pass to the Boy. second man who then turns and offloads it to the inside man who tries to, you know, probe Set. the gap. That was one of the things I remember, you know, playing in you know, first and second grade. And uh, it doesn't matter. That's just, like, one of the things that, that, that Jeeps as a club 
it does, and they've got to try. All right, here we go. Gedea. Gedea is chasing it down, but it's going to go out on the full. Oh, oh, an unfortunate little uh, right. hiccup there for Gedea, but nearly, you know, doing so well there. And it looks like Jeets is starting to get the scrum on. Yeah. They didn't wheel that, don't Look, they? I think a, a good pick and drive, if, if done well, can be can be a great right. weapon. And, Bucks, you know, we don't always gap, have mate. the biggest pack, so Bucks sometimes you've got to... You've got to try exhaust your opposition. Well, that's it, mate. And we're coming in now. It's going to be a brother's line out. Jeeps are going to try and fish this one away. They go for the middle option. Oh, and Baker, well done, he's done well. And now Samu's got the ball. And now we've got some good support here from the Jeeps forwards. Oh, wow. Fantastic drive there from the substitute prop, Tupou. Ball's at the back now. Stay last beat. Kurindrani. He's quite good on the pick and drive, Kurindrani. He is, and now here come Move. the Jeeps forwards. They're going to have to get to their feet, and they're going to have to let Denia do his job. Come here. Is he going to the pocket? Gendel, Nathan, Nathaniel, sorry. These guys just go back. When you join a ruck, you've got to do so and bind onto someone. You can't charge in dangerously with a shoulder. He's done that into the back of a Jeeps player. It's a second yellow and a red. Go. Uh, three minutes, mate. And uh, what a turn of events there. Second yellow card for Tupo there. Uh, you've got to bind onto a player to drive, and he's gone in with the shoulder. Dangerous play there. A young player, Tupo, and... Um, Look, it's, it's, you've you, you got to learn to control that aggression. And, you know, Nathaniel Gendel, I think, would be pretty dirty on him. You, you can't leave. Salty. He'll be salty. He's salty. He'll be you can't salty. leave your teammates down. Gap, no, you Keep can't. And that's please. the second time yeah. he's done it in the game. And, you know, um, I'm sure that after the game there'll be a lot of reflection on this. And we come back to the play here and we see Tupo coming in, the diving shoulder into the back of the Jeeps player on the ground. A very dangerous play. And there we go. Now, Jeeps have got a great opportunity here. Brothers are going to have to do this one man down for the rest of the game. Now, they're playing the pick and drive game that we've seen them, and it's good to see Kurandrani in the fray there. They need to get a bit of organisation on the pick and go, though. Here we go, and they've got momentum, I tell you what. And here come Jeeps. They are picking and driving their way towards the line like we've seen them do three times before. Three tries, three pick and drives. Here we go now. They're lining up. With the big men like Sykes and Samo in the fray, it's no Last wonder that this has been one of the most aggressive Nine. and successful methods. And great work there from Genia, seeing the opportunity to get out of the way Last of these eight. forwards, which are doing such a good job for him. He's on his own there, though. They need to get a bit of body height. And here we go. Genia doesn't want the ball yet because he knows this has been the best form of attack. The, the big props. Yeah. They're driving in. Less than five metres to go for, bra for the Jeeps. Brothers are going to have to work hard. They don't have the man, but they can't let too many players get sucked into this defence. There's the counter ruck from Brothers. They're going to try work hard here, but I don't think it's going to go well. Here they go. Jeeps are so close. The man in the background has got his hands up in the air, and it's going to be a penalty. It's a great, crucial turnover there from, from Freeney. And there we go. Not releasing the ball. Sorry, I think it might have been Shipley. Oh, he to release. And here we go. But, you know, it doesn't feet. necessarily rule out, you know, About a minute. there's only five points of difference. And let's minute face it, Jeeps are on their five, brothers are on their five meter line here. So, you know, Fels is a good kicker, sorry. but I'm saying sorry, he'll get sorry. maybe right. the, you 20, 25, 30 meters out. They're going to have to win the line out. And here we watch the replay there. Their pick and driving was just ferocious from Jeeps. But uh, brothers... Did such a good job to counter. And we can see there the bodies on the floor were acting against Jeeps there. And they couldn't, you know, have that good place back, clean place back. And that's where they uh, fell short. Yeah, it's a high-risk strategy, the pick and drive Just sometimes. You know, you can go that one too many sometimes. You've got, you've got to really make sure you're moving it away to a yeah. new breakdown each time. Outside. But as we're defenders, outside. that's what outside. you ideally want to do. Push yep. it back onto the pile. Yep. Good defence there by Brothers on their line. And uh, a liftless... Not, Not even, straight. Shoulder, mate. A liftless pass. This liftless game's had a lot of out. lot of turns from both sides. So mm. now two and a half minutes left. No, so it's, it's probably Jeep's less line we out did now. Hear three minutes on the clock uh, from Moore about a minute ago. So look, they could attempt to drive this 
from Let's here, go, but guys, you know they need boys. to get good body height Clear and they out. need to be driving in unison. If it, if it at all steps backwards, yep. I'd, I'd be looking to, to shift a bit of space early, but they go on a short line out. That's exactly right. A big contest. Baker does well to get it. Genia finds Pulu. Radiki Samo's in the middle, and he's going to charge and bring it to the 22. Genia will flick it back the other way. Finds Gorman. Kurandrani's in the mix now. He's going to gas it. Good he's going to get close. He puts his head down, the big man. He's going to drive. They're close again. Here goes Genia. Genia. Sykes. Sykes loses it backwards. The ball's still in play. Genia's got options. Kurandrani manages to get out of the way. Genia, he's going to fish it out. Does well. Finds Sykes again. Move. The Jeeps players playing with so much desperation. Sedu. Kurandrani. No. So hungry. Here we go. There's Sykes. They're grinding inches towards the line here. Phase after phase. Be interesting what you do here. It's over there. Hands. Hands. And it's going to be hands in the ruck by brothers there. This surely must be full time, whichever the play is. That's why we're going for the the option for pick and drive and the brothers players. He's on his own there. Time, time, time. Stop. Time. Looks like there's some seriously injured people. No, no, no. Shh. Relax. Bring it in. There's a lot of people to rush in quite no, quickly. No, 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 it's, no, it's good. Yeah, it's your scrum. It looks like we've got a couple of injuries here. We're not sure what it is. Two players down. Where? Might have been a head clash. Oh, no, 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 no. We just, it's going to be a Jeep scrum, mate. I had to stop that. I think the only way you can describe that, Liam, between these two teams is an absolute skirmish of um, Jeeps players attacking and brothers defending. And it looks like we're going to be going to a scrum. Sorry, is it a scrum or is that full time? No, no. no we're get, you you're going to a scrum. Here, That's what Moore's called because um, I just think the pure intensity and the volume of bodies that were piled up in there, it just was, uh, you know, getting a bit too hard. And obviously Jeeps were kind of going forward, but it looks like we've got a couple of injured players there. So Moore had to make the right call and pull it up. So uh, the brothers player, we're not too sure who it is that's down there, is uh, getting the right treatment. So... Um, Right, final, it's the final seconds of this game, Liam. 19-24, the score. You are uh, on the paddock there for Jeeps. Sure, what do you think Genia is uh, yeah, voicing okay, to his no forwards right now? Look, I think he's marshalling more the same, the pick and go, but I think then it's up to, to Genia and, and Pulu to call when's the right time to, to take that attack wide because, you know, there could be a lot of eyes turning in towards the ruck from brothers uh, after so many pick and goes that if they can just get a few a few uh, good passes together out wide and, and a bit through the line. We're not sure who's down here, but the uh, we are waiting in injury time at the moment. And uh, as you can see by our clocks and from what we've overheard from uh, Moore's, the referee, Simon Moore's uh, watch, we are in the final seconds of this game when we do resume here. And um, I'm sure that there's a good little conversation there going between Winkley and Pulu as well about the kind of attack here. But the brethren are going to have to work so hard to uh, keep Jeeps out because, um, let's face it, Jeeps have got two on the clock. They're just outside the, the top four. And I have to say, you know, brothers sitting at second... I don't think they have that, you know, underdog desperation that Jeeps have got. And um, look, I think I think brothers have, have lost two in a row, so they're they're looking to get their season back on track. And look, this fixture, Jeeps versus brothers, always a lot of feeling in it. And yeah, while this player it looks like we have a stretcher involved, which is unfortunate, we're going to go across and look at some of the highlights of the first and second half before we bring you the explosive conclusion of this match. And we see here, great little line out there from Brothers. They swing it wide. James, who's just been an absolute uh, driving force in the Brothers' attack there, goes across. And that was one of the first tries that Brothers got 
And then we see here again, Brothers, they've done really well to uh, pick and drive, and it's the combination of Grasso and James that uh, has just been so profitable. And then we see good run there, linking up with Skelton, who uh, I think he's been one of the more fiery players for Brothers today, Liam. He's been good for them, yeah. Yeah, definitely linking in there to do well. And now this is one of the great pick and drives that we saw there, and Kaitu, the uh, hooker, yeah, thought, yeah. nabbing another very, very important try. And uh, I think one thing that uh, both teams are definitely going to have to work on over the next week before we see the you know round 14, it's this kicking game. Uh, there's been far too many penalties and far too many kickouts where they're just not finding the not finding the line. And even this man, uh, Felsman, who's got another couple of tries today, one or two tries, and he's had a couple of kicks. And here is that big yellow card we saw against Skelton, absolutely jamming up the fullback Todd Winkley. It looks like in, uh, we're looking on the field now. The player's still being stretched off, so we're going to keep having a look at our highlights here. There we go. And, uh, yeah, the picking and drive option, Liam, definitely uh, Jeep's best friend today. Yeah, it's been it's been, it's worked well for him um, today, and I think just as good as the pick and drive's been for uh, for Jeep's, that these wide channels for brothers have been outstanding, and that's that's been down to Pat James. He's, he's really varied his, his depth of when he's taken the ball from Grasso, when he's asked for it. Well, this was definitely one of my favourites. That little cheeky <laughs> two-inch drop kick there from Genia gets it, links up with a striding Winkley, and then we just see, you know, it looks like the very earth shifts underneath Kurindrani's feet when he decides to go for a bit of a direction change. And then we see great link up there, Pulu, Da Baker, and then your big favourite man. Trent Anderson. Trent Anderson. The, the, the really good thing for... Uh, for that whole passage of play there was, you know, Postal down the other end of the field, unfortunately for Brothers, knocked the ball on over the line, but that's a big prop getting there in, in breakaway open field for Brothers, and then down the other end, a Jeeps prop get, getting there for the And this was one of the few skirmishes that we've seen Jeeps have on the Brothers line, and uh, unsuccessful there, Jeeps, in uh, not getting across, but some great defence from Brothers there as well. And uh, that obviously led to the latest skirmish that we had. And we do see that Brothers player exiting the field in the dying seconds. His effort's not going. It looks as though he's, he's OK. He's, he's moving. He's, both arms and legs are moving. So Well, that's the very important thing. And obviously, he'll head off and get all the necessary checks he needs to do. We wish him a speedy recovery. Crouch. And here we go now. The biggest scrum of the match. It's been minutes in the making. Bye. Here we go. Genny is going to have to work quick. And a you can see people are bursting to, to get into this scrum. Well, that's it, you know, over 80 minutes of rugby and uh, it's, that scrum is still just simmering away. And uh, brothers would be confident of being able to, to thwart this attack from Jeeps Maybe, in the scrum. We, we've seen that Jeeps have got a counter scrum and it's just Genia getting quick ball in. Quick ball out. Crowd. So I don't know. I think brothers are going to. I think brothers are going to be more anxious mm. than confident at the moment. Well, you would be when you're in front and you're on your line. <laughs> yeah, and there's only five points no. of difference. Good pressure footy here for, for both teams. One of my favourites is just the, the banter, scrum banter is oh. one of the, the best things you'll ever hear. Yeah. Let's go boys. Guys, let's get it up. Let's get it's that just six not very smart blokes telling very bad jokes to each other. Deja vu for you on Tuesday, Kazi. Let's go. Let's go. Come in on an angle again, James. I, I take offence to that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In years where I've put on too much weight, I've been forced to play hooker, so <laughs> I'm allowed to say it. <laughs> Mate, no one at home can Bye. see you here, so it's all good. <laughs> and here we go. Set! Steady! Good work there from Baker, burrowing in. Uh, Baker does well to find Genia. Here's and Herbert. Herbert. He'll look, and the forwards now, they're rallying. They've got the pick and drive option. They're going for the post. This could be absolutely brilliant conclusion to this game. And here they go now, picking and driving. They need to play smart rugby here. The ball's still in Jeep's possession. The two big props driving inside the five-meter line. The ball's in the back. Set, who's got it? Here they go now, Jeep's. They are getting ever so close. 
They're going to keep working. And it's advantage. Call across the Jeeps here. Play's going to stay alive and they're going to keep trying to work it. And here they go. Prowling that line, looking for an opening. Last feet. Last feet. They're piling up on the post. And Genia. Yep, I'm still playing it. He's looking for the players, but they're not there. But we're going to come back to the advantage. Offside. Offside, the brothers' players. Offside. Called by Mr. Moore. I probably Nine need a chance five. in their arm more there where they have the advantage. Here we go. Quick ball. They're going to go for the pick and drive again. It's Last the grind. Game. Here they go. Try. And it's going to be a try. An absolutely phenomenal finish. And uh, I... Uh, can't even describe how what a fantastic uh, <laughs> feeling this must be for well, you, Liam. Someone's still got to kick a goal here. I'm glad it's not me. So the, the big, you know, absolutely fantastic uh, brothers who have just been so ferocious. The determination of this Jeeps team, and uh, you know, I do feel for the backs and Jeeps that it just hasn't been their day. Just but my hat there. goes completely off to those forwards who have just ground so hard. And uh, they've come up with the goods. That's four tries today from the pick and drive for the Gallopers. Look, uh, big, big Andy Tucker's our forwards coach. He's a, he's a Welsh hooker. So that sort of rugby today from the Jeeps forward pack would bring a tear to a Northern Hemisphere man's eye. Oh, exactly. And uh, there we go. Batty Bissar going to kick. Oh, and that is <laughs> Three from three for Jeeps uh, in the last... Look, uh, I, I think uh, everyone should just be ha happy. Obviously, Jeeps supporters more so than brother supporters, but that was just a cracking afternoon of, of, of club footy. Well, I think the other big thing we've got to remember is uh, everyone's got to watch this here at the game, at the grounds, uh, the brothers team. Unfortunately, they didn't get over here, but more so everyone at home. A sensational conclusion of the game. We see in the overtime. I don't yeah. think our clocks are quite correct. I think it has to be close yeah. to the 85 yeah. minute yeah. mark these boys have played. That's Look, and there's uh, been plenty of people in the crowd today with their Wallabies jerseys on. They've already got a got a few gold tins under the belt. We'll be getting the bus into town now for the test. So, oh, they might know, have a few more gold tins gold and then head in. Yeah, yeah, then head in. Regardless, um, and you see, this is what I, I've really I'm starting to enjoy as we get to the back end of this Premier Rugby season. You know, this was a five versus two match today, but the way these guys played it all the way down, you know, every inch counted, and it was just fantastic to see. And uh, we're going to have a look at some of the statistics here as we, uh, my producer, quickly pulls them across to our screen. Fantastic. Thank you, Rob. And uh, it was like we talked about when we went into the second half here. Obviously, possession, vastly different, but still we see that... Um, you know, it looks like... Brothers have missed eight tackles in the second half, considering they only missed two in the first half. You know, they, they, they have missed a, a lot more in the second half. Jeep's still, still on the wrong end of that start. tackles made by the brethren. Yeah. An absolutely huge amount. And one thing I am noticing now when we look at these statistics, 45 to 55 for possession, but the territory, 66 to 33. It looks like the Gallopers came out of half time and they really wanted to play and they did play more aggressive football and they made more happen, which was good. And I think it kind of happened, you know, in that last quarter when they really said, no, we've just got to get close proximity and then we need to get the hammer yeah. and grind on. Look, and, and that's, that's the benefit of, of sticking to your game plan. Um, penalties conceded by brothers 11 and, and that, that's going to happen when you've made 112 tackles and, and, and the possession and territories against well, you. Well that's it and you know brothers they played you know in total 30 minutes of that match a man down. That's Two right. yellows and then and a the red. red at the end. So it might and have been a bit less than that but on paper 30 minutes and uh, that is probably one of the biggest things. So, if anything, I think yeah. brothers were really lacking a little bit. You of really can't afford in, in, against the, any of the any of the sides in the comp this year. So even to to give them the opportunity to play against fourteen men for extended periods, especially when it's a, you know they're at the home ground. Brothers had an advantage going into this on many you know different fronts. But the numerical thing, and when it comes to a grinding team, especially when the biggest battle is between forwards, you cannot afford to lose one there. And that's the thing we saw today. And uh, I do believe we've got a few replays that we did already show you. So uh, on everyone here, it's been a fantastic afternoon. And the Gallopers coming away with their third straight win, 26 points to 24 in what was only 
that can only be described as an absolute nail biter. It has been an absolute pleasure this afternoon watching it. Uh, Liam Ferguson from Jeeps. Liam, a very happy co commodore Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks, Martin. A good afternoon for a Jeep supporter and commiserations to brothers. That's it. And everyone, tonight we do have the big one. It is Australia versus England. Kickoff is 8 p.m. from Suncorp Stadium. If you're not heading there, make sure you're tuning in to watch that from wherever you are in this great country or overseas. Full time here, Gallopers getting up 26 over the Brethren, 24. On behalf of everyone here on Reds TV, we'd like to thank you for tuning in, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. My name is Martin Lippiot. Thank you and good evening.